Hi, I'm PJ Holden, comic artist for Judge Dredd, and this is a little video of the strip Black Snow. Um, you can see this is me working away in Clip Studio Paint. Um, it's my kind of tool of choice, really, for drawing. Um, first thing I've done here is I've, we've skipped a little stage or two, but I've scanned in a pencil page, and I'm going to fiddle with that pencil page to get it exactly as I like it. Um, sometimes I'll flip panels over and do, and do various things. In fact, you're going to see some of these edits now. Right now, what I'm doing is, is tweaking the panel borders um, and now I'm sort of isolating and cutting out a single figure because I that Judge Zimmer there doesn't quite pop enough for me so I'm gonna I'm gonna basically enlarge that figure uh, tilt everything in a way angle and sort of play around with it so here I'm selecting colors just so I can see what's on each vari variable layers and the various layers um, so that's me enlarging Judge Zimmer and moving her kind of slightly off center so it's a wee bit more interesting because she's slightly over to the right rather than just being over the right dead center uh, it also takes her it allows her to take up a fair bit of space and, and kind of cut into that other panel without interrupting Dredd's face so uh, any second now I should start inking this I think there's, yeah here we go so we're going to ink this first panel um, I use uh, a G pen set at 1.5 is what I used on this um, I I tend to, with drawing tools, I tend to find it's always best to pick one and just stick with it all the time. Then you'll get to know it. So I tend to use exactly the same, even though I've got hundreds of brushes, a ridiculous number of brushes. So here, um, what I've done is I've split, I've, I've given myself two screens, basically, on this, on my large monitor. Uh, one screen, the screen to the left, is showing me the full page. So I get a sense of the context of what's, what's going on. Uh, and then on the right, I've zoomed in uh, to... Uh, a uh, reasonable degree, 50% zoom in, uh, and that lets me draw and get in details. But even even then, you sort of want to avoid getting, I mean, I could go, zoom right into that little background figure drew there and drew, draw his eyes and his nose and everything, but you'd never see that. It would all be lost in, in the print. Um, here I'm making up one of the judges. Um, she's going to buy it in a second. Um, and yeah, so it's just the inking is basically about adding weight to the figure and giving you know spotting blacks, which is the process of figuring out where a black shadow would go in. Uh, the black shadows there to add weight to to what you're doing, but I also like to use it to kind of steer a reader's eye. You see there, I went for a little twisty ride round. Um, to you know, sometimes it's easier to twist the graphics on screen than it is to twist my arm. Um, so yeah, so I'm basically uh, you can see that the. the Thicker black shadows add a bit of weight and add a bit of dimensionality to, to whatever it is I'm drawing. Um, and yeah, and so I'm, I'm turning off the pencils to get a sense of what's what's happening there and I'll, I'll just ink the rest of it. This is speeded up, obviously, I think. Um, I do not draw this fast, but I do kind of draw pretty fast and I do, you know, I, I ply on, you know, I, I don't, I tend to, I'll, I'll, I'll look for the right line and hopefully I'll get it and I'll not get too worried if the line isn't perfect because in the overall picture of what I'm doing I hope it's right. So I've added a bit of a little splatter texture on there and I'm kind of erasing it away so um, the, the splatter texture, texture is because we're outside and it's in this horrible atmosphere. Um, yeah, I think one of the things I did there I might have done without you even noticing, without me even noticing, was I flipped that picture, uh, that panel too. I kind of uh, flipped it in its horizontal, so the other um, guy is 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 kind of behind uh, to to our right. Uh, the judge is left, and I, I think I I did that largely because the flow of action makes more sense that way. Um, the exp you know you want to see the gunshot, and then you want to see his reaction. Uh, the way it was, you saw his reaction, and then you saw the gunshot, which had sort of less impact. So that's this again. It's just putting shadows, dropping lines in, uh, giving a little bit of texture to everything. Um, those little sort of feather lines in the costume to help it um, look like fabric of some kind uh sort of tilting the 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 guy in the background there and then and then inking him in um so i've never even generally when i pencil i pencil i just sit down and pencil and once it's done i will then scan that in and alter it within the computer i don't really do an awful lot of erasing if i can help it um primarily because oftentimes there's nothing wrong with the drawing it's just really um i mean my pencils are pretty loose anyway so i'm I'm not going to refine my pencils to the perfect this just doesn't make any sense uh because i'll blatter over them with some inks but as long as they get character shapes and, and faces right it's i try not to redraw them unless i absolutely have to um 
but I will always take those in and alter them in the computer and rotate them around and figure out is that better if I do this. There's me checking reference for Dred's gun on his back. I'd sort of drawn it once on that other page and I needed to draw it again. And uh, sometimes there's a few days separate in a pa two pages. You know, you might go, well, you only, you, you know, if you're a reader, you'll go, oh, well, I just saw that page and then this page. But if you're an artist, you'll go, oh, it took me a week to get from here to there. So in that time, I forgot how to do that. I forgot what this looks like. So I've got to sit down and, and redraw it. Um, I do love drawing Dread, though. God, he's got a great chin. Um, the little uh, ribbon on the edge of Dread's uh, helmet there is my slight nod to the Stallone movie. It's the the ribbon and I do a little, I often do a little um, lapel badge thing, which are both things that I liked in the 1995 movie. <laughs> you know, I can I'll hand my Dread badge in at the door as I leave. Um, he's, Dread's also in his winter uniform, um, which is uh, originally created by... Um, uh, Charlie Adlard and um, I kind of modified it slightly to add the eagle onto onto the winter uniform um, but yeah so it and then it was colored by uh, Quentin Winter which is an amazing name um, but comics is full of people with amazing names so um, that, that's cool uh, so yeah so that's me just drawing dress costume on there putting some heavy blacks in we're seeing the back of them there um, I will draw and then kind of go over with white sometimes and redraw white putting a bit of texture that texture follows the shape and the contours of the of the um, elbow pad it just helps the, the reader get a shape of what what we're looking at um, and our, our main villain of the piece here uh, Michael Carroll asked for an Errol Flynn kind of um, I, I think he was wanting a sort of dynamic swings from ropes gets a sword out fights everywhere and I I took from the description uh, Errol Flynn uh, I should give him a small pencil thin mustache so, uh, so sometimes sometimes you'll get it exactly what a writer's after sometimes you'll 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 kind of maybe go off on a little tangent of your own um, I think ultimately Michael liked it um, uh, we've talked about it um, I think he was surprised <laughs> that's what I chose to do but I think he liked it um, so yeah sometimes I'll drop the pencils out when I'm inking because I kind of know what's happening and it's just texture and it's just direction and stuff and I've inked the main things uh, and now we get on the ink and dread god I love drawing dread here we go um, so much fun to draw that big craggy chin um, it's taking me a minute to think about it though there we go all the arm I'm saving the chin for last like like the you know like saving saving it for dessert um so yeah, you can see I've drawn black and then I've kind of gone over some of the black and drawn them with white. Um, I do much prefer traditional inking and it gives me at the end of the day a page which I like owning, I like having, but sometimes it, it's just much faster and much easier to go digital. Um, there is no sort of equivocation. You can sit down and start inking and never have to stop really. Uh, judge Zimmer here, um, one of a slew of female judges that, that um, it's hard sometimes to give a distinguishing feature to a female judge. Uh, it's hard for any judges. All judges basically are a chin and a helmet. You know, that, that's, that's all you ever get to see of them. On the male judges, you've, um, uh, aside from uh, different races, there's also facial hair and, you know, moustache, a beard and, you know, uh, and uh, if you're Brendan McCarthy, a giant star. Um, for me, uh, my options are more limited, and I thought it'd be fun to give her a little scar because that then, you know, in in, in film and movies, there there's the idea of props, but there's also the idea of hero props, and hero props are the ones that that really matter. They're the ones you're going to see up and close up. And there's a similar kind of with the judges. There are judges that you will see in the background and don't matter too much, and then there are hero judges. You've got to kind of figure out what does this judge look like. We're going to see them multiple times. I need to distinguish them between other other judges. They need to stand out. And so I added a scar. Um, if it may, if it helps you think about it, you can imagine that the scar was added purely because she was in a fight somewhere. But really, the scar was added because it just helps me kind of focus in on what that character looked like. Um, and there I'm just drawing background, noodling bits of background. Um, I kind of think. I mean, one one of the things we don't have in comics that that they do in movies is the ability to kind of put backgrounds really out of focus. Um. So what you end up doing though is, is you end up drawing kind of uh, I, a background that, that is just lots of lines. It gives you a sense of where you are, but isn't actually specifically your real thing. Um, I quite like doing the fabric on the cloak here as well. Um, 
lots of little nicks of white out of it. Um, it's one of the things you don't, it, it's much harder to do with traditional pen and ink because the, it's hard to get a really good white that will draw over a black. Uh, whereas digitally you can just, it's just dead easy. I think of course the problem with that then is you're tempted to overdo it and do it a lot. Um, the solve judge there, he's got a gun with a little rotating barrel, which is a kind of feature in my head canon of what solve judge's armory looks like. Uh, in my in my head, solve judges have ca giant machine guns with uh, barrel kind of ammo things, and they also have Mark One lawgivers that have been adapted. You know, possibly at some point they the solve judges stole the Mark One lawgiver, and rebuilt it in a way that they could make. Uh, and so you end up with a slightly chunkier, blockier Mark One. Um, it's just just a bit of fun for me um it's kind of fun doing the soft judges I, I i don't think i appreciated how much fun it was doing them when i was doing them <laughs> but now i'm looking at them i'm going yeah they're kind of cool armor that's cool that big cloak that's great it hides a multitude of sins uh that goofy helmet that's fun to do um so I think at this point I've exhausted my three types of judges. Uh, judge with wide face, judge with um, thin face and judge with a goody beard. Um, this is it's a sh such a crying shame Dread hates any facial hair on judges because it's it's one of the ways you can make them distinct. So there's more noodle background. I mean, the background is not the important feature here. The important feature here is we see these judges and we see Judge Zima f front and center, really. Which is why I altered the, the uh, pencil of her so she would pop out more. And I think that's largely it. Add a little bit of texture and that is my, um, yeah, that's my, my inking done largely. Just little bits in there. After this, um, I will send a, a preview to the Mighty Tharg and Quentin Winter will then take some, uh, some do some glorious colouring on it. And that's me. So I've been PJ Holden. You can find me on Twitter at Paul J Holden and my blog is www.pauljholden.com.